What is going on guys? Welcome to my JWM series. My name is Callum WM. Uh, no face cam today as I am struggling with equipment here in England. But here we go. We're going to be up against Everton first at home at Sellers Park. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be three points needed. We're starting in the left-hand side of midfield and we are looking forward to it. I believe Everton are somewhere up the table. They're doing quite well for themselves. But we are here at Sellers Park fighting for three points. The fans are ready and looking forward to this one. And let's have a look at our objectives. And we bring out the Everton mascot. Looking at our objectives, we have a 7.5 match rating, dribble success for at least 50%, or get a team possession rate of 60%, which I think we can get. We're going into that one first, into the first seven minutes now. We're driving down the left hand side. A great ball across there to Edward as he drives inside, keeps driving. He plays it back. He comes into Wilfred Zaha, and it is 1 0 to Crystal Palace. What a move started by the pass from JWM. It was an absolute peach into the next chance here and it's going to be a red card for Luca Dean after that disgusting challenge gets him off the pitch. Now moving into the next chance here and I don't know what the AI is doing there. I just wanted to show you guys how retarded the AI can actually be as we are driving down the left hand side again moving it trying to get past the defenders. We put it into the box and Zahar fluffing his lines. He should have scored. We give the ball away here and Dominic Calvert-Lewin scores. Uh, that's no problem with the AI. That's just shit play from myself or Jack. So we're currently down, the corner comes into the box, and it's going to be Kiarte who gets his absolute nut on it and puts it into the top corner and puts Crystal Palace back ahead 2-1. The captain is loving it. Back in the driving seat, now moving into this chance here, we're pissing about with the ball, just holding on to it, just holding on to it, wasting time, and we do get the three points as needed, much needed in the Premier League. We get a match rating of 7.3, 92 minutes played, 15.2 distance covered, 24 passes completed, 80% accuracy, and one massive tackle. Looking at minus 15 from Patrick Vieira, which I still, to this day, don't understand. We're into the next game now at Sellers Park again, and we're facing off against Southampton. This is going to be a tough one, definitely going to be a tough one. But yet again, we are starting in the left-hand side of midfield. We're looking to impact the game. Let's have a little look now at what our match objectives are going to be, which one we're going to select. The fans are there again in their casual uniform today. No, no kits today. Looking into the match objective, and it's a 7.5 match rating, 60% pass accuracy, 65% pass accuracy, or get at least two goal involvements. We're not ready for the goal involvement. Ball comes into the box there. AI is trying to score own goals. I don't really know why they're trying to do that. I just wanted to highlight again the AI being retarded as hell. Ball comes into the box there. It looks offside, yeah. From the first instant, it looks offside. It is a good finish from Armstrong, but we're going to get the replays out. We're going to get the lines out. We need some VAR because if you guys can see it here, as the pass is played, his leg looks offside. If you zoom in there, the boy is offside, and I don't know what FIFA are doing. We are disgusted. We're enraged, but we move on as we are driving through the midfield again. We play the ball into Edward. He gives it to Zaha. He chips it over the goalkeeper, and it is 1-1 on the 45th minute. It's going to make the team talk difficult for Southampton. We're going to show you a little replay here because it was close. But it was onside. Wilfred Zaha is onside for his goal. And we are checking the lines. Because we're not having no cheaters out here. <laughs> now moving into the next part of the game. 70th minute. Put the ball up in the midfield. And we are absolutely clattered there. He should be sent off. Get him off. And he's only given a yellow. Just shows that this referee is absolutely corrupting this game. As we're driving into the midfield again. We give the ball out to Zaha. He gives it back to us. The gap opens up. And we've got a chance to win it. And it's a great save from Fraser Foster. The prick. You know, we had that chance there to win it. And we probably should have won it. As we're still driving inside with Zaha. He gives the ball inside to Edward, And he misses an easy chance, which could have won us the game. And honestly, I don't know what to do at this point. Because the AI is just so... It's, it's, it's just rubbish, to be honest. Uh, the game ends 1-1. We get a 7.1 match rate in 91 minutes played. 13.8 distance covered. 25 passes completed. 86%. Uh, and zero tackles. As we're looking into a minus 15 from Patrick Vieira. As it's a bad performance, which makes no sense. Anyway, into the assist leaderboard. We're currently second in the assist leaderboard with five assists. Ivan Tony has seven. We're same assist level as Cristiano Ronaldo because we are the GOAT. Now we're moving into the game against Watford away from home. This should be three points comfortably against Watford. They are not playing good football at the minute uh, in the FIFA. I think they're near the bottom. So we should really be taking points of them here away from home. We're starting in the midfield. We've got to run things. We've got to, you know, just show these lot why they should be bottom of the league. Uh, we've got 7.5 match rating, 60%. Team possession or score at least one goal. Uh, I still don't think we're going to score one goal, but we're going to go for it anyway. As we get our first chance here, and it's a 50 50, and we win that one, which is worth a goal and more, you know. Uh, but Zahar's offside as per usual. Uh, now we're driving into the next chance here. A little touch inside, and it's Edward who just, you know, plays a 1 2 with the goalkeeper. Brilliant from him. Uh, now we're looking at the AI defending as the ball comes into the back stick. Uh, defender thinks, nah, I don't really want to head it. And it's now <laughs> two, uh, 1 0, sorry, to Watford. Uh, great defending from the AI there. Challenging the ball so well. Furious I am. We get a chance here and it's blocked. Uh, good block to be fair. 
Uh, and as we're still trying to push for a goal, we're still trying to push forward. As we sneak a little dummy there, he gives the ball in. Edward is in again, and he uh, just basically passes it to the keeper, as he's done for most of the season. And we lose to Watford 1-0. Uh, heartbreak, really. We should have won this game. Chances were created, but, you know... I'm blaming the AI because I think that I pretty much had a very good game or Jax had a pretty much very good game. I forgot to have a look at the uh, stats and stuff. We got minus 25 from Patrick Vieira. Uh, he hates us at the minute, so that'll probably be us on the sub bench. But you know me, did some training and we are now doing training for this next game in the Carabao quarterfinal cup against Leicester City. A tough one. We need to come through it. We need to win. This is the big one. We're in this one and we're in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. There's no mascots, there's no messing about today. We're straight out and we're on the pitch. 7.5 match rating, get at least a win or a draw or get at least one goal or assist. Here we go into the first chance of the game. Just 16 minutes in, Leicester turn. There's a great save by Vincent Guaita. It's a great save as we are trying to create something and we give the ball away stupidly there as Leicester now pile on the pressure. They keep putting the ball moving there. Um, we're trying to stress them, we're trying to press them back, but nothing's really happening. And they get in behind from some poor defending and that was always going to be a goal as soon as the defender lost his marker. Now we get a chance here on the 38th minute. The ball comes out to the edge of the box. We take it down on the chest and we think, you know what? Let's have a ping. But it's straight at the keeper. It's a poor shot, apparently. Um, we're currently losing 1-0 at the halfway point. But you know what? It's not over. It's not over just yet. We're not going to give up as we drive into the second half. We're only 15 minutes left. The ball comes into the box. We take a touch. We literally give it into him. It's going to be an assist, but he gives a 1-2, and I don't understand why he's given a 1-2 there. It doesn't make any sense at all. I was furious when playing this. We send two defenders here. We've only two minutes left, it looks like. Sorry, eight minutes left, and we're trying to drive. We're trying to create something. We need a goal. We give it in, and now it gives it into Edward. He gives it back. We cross it into the box, and it's a shit cross into the box. Uh, and that probably should... That's a great pass, apparently, according to them. Uh, we've only 10 seconds left. That is going to be it. And it is absolute heartbreak. We are out of the Carabao Cup. Um, and I don't really know what to say. I'm blaming the AI because 15 minutes from time, I gave him, I gave him a sit a one-on-one -on -one and he passed it back to me when I was marked by three men. So we're blaming the AI. We're blaming Edward. We're blaming everyone but ourselves. Um... Let's have a little look at the stat sheet as all the fans are probably, you know, disgraced. 7.0 match rating, 23 passes completed, 88% uh, pass accuracy and 15.3 distance covered. That is actually a pretty good game if I've ever seen one myself. Uh, moving the ball pretty well in the midfield, probably the best rated midfielder out of everyone. But, you know, really, what can you do? Minus 25 again, we're probably on the subs bench for the next game as we are out of the cup. That's three minuses from Patrick Vieira, even though we are probably his best midfielder. But what can you do? This is only FIFA. Um, and we're just going to have to sort of revel in the heartbreak in the dressing room, which I kind of want you guys just to, you know, sit in and feel at this present minute as we are heartbroken. Zahar's not really saying a lot. We're not really giving Vieira any eye contact here. One of them there has got their arms folded. But we move on. Uh, Tottenham will be the next game in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and peace out.